Welcome to the spoken tutorial on WHO length for age percentile growth charts. In this tutorial, we will learn about two types of percentile growth charts. Growth indicators. The plot points for growth indicators. Let us begin by understanding what are percentile growth charts. They are charts designed to help you follow a child's growth. They were developed through the World Health Organization's MGRS. MGRS means Multicenter Growth Reference Study. 8,500 selected children from six different countries were measured. The countries were India, Brazil, Ghana, Norway, Oman and the USA. The children were from different cultural backgrounds. Three things were kept constant among them. All the selected children were breastfed. They all were vaccinated. They all had access to a clean environment. It showed that children from different countries grew in a similar way. This means the environment played a major role in their growth. Good nutrition, health and sanitation is required for proper growth. The average weight and length for each age and gender were established. Growth charts compare a child's length and weight with other children. These children are of the same age and gender as the child. These charts provide an early warning that a child has a growth problem. In this tutorial, we will discuss two types of percentile growth charts. Each growth chart is used to measure a specific growth indicator. Growth indicators are used to assess growth. They take a child's age and measurements together into consideration. The first growth indicator is length for age. The second one is weight for age. These indicators are plotted on growth charts over weeks, months or years. This helps us to identify any growth problems. It is important to use growth charts as per the child's gender. The growth charts used in this tutorial are from the World Health Organization. They are for children in the 0 to 2 years age group. These growth charts are available on their website www.who.int. Please select the appropriate charts as per the child's gender. Download and print them. Next, let's learn more about the first type of percentile growth chart. It is the length for age growth chart. It is used to plot the length for age growth indicator. This indicator can help identify children who are stunted or short. Such children might have had prolonged undernutrition or repeated illness. Children who are tall for their age can also be identified. In these charts, the horizontal reference line at the bottom is the x-axis. It shows age. Exact age is plotted in weeks and months from birth until 2 years of age. The vertical reference line at the left side is the y-axis. 
it shows length in centimeters the thin gray horizontal lines represent an increase in length by 1 cm let's go through the steps to plot length for age in these charts first mark the exact age months and years on the x axis with a point then mark the length on the y axis with a point extend it over the connected horizontal line till the marked point for age extend the marked point for age over the connected vertical line the point where two extended lines intersect is called a plotted point for every child points are plotted over weekly or monthly measurements check whether a plotted point seems sensible if necessary remeasure the child for example a baby's length should not be shorter than at the previous visit if it is then one of the measurements was wrong let us use an example to understand plotting on this chart This graph shows Anita's length for age plotted 3 times over a few months. At this point Anita was 3 months of age and 64 cm in length. Now here at this point Anita was 70 cm in length at 6 months of age. Finally here at this point She was 78 cm in length at 1 year of age. Now, let's learn more about the five curved colored lines on growth charts. These five curved lines show selected percentiles. They are 3rd, 15th, 50th, 85th and 97th percentiles The 3rd and 97th percentiles are shown by red colored lines The 15th and 85th percentiles are shown by orange colored lines The 50th percentile is shown by a green colored line These percentiles indicate the rank of the child's measurement. Let's understand each percentile line with specific examples. In this graph, Madhav's length is plotted on the third percentile line. It means that 97% of children of his age are taller than him. Only 3% of children of his age are shorter than him. In this graph, Anu's length is plotted on the 15th percentile line. It means that 85% of children of her age are taller than her. Only 15% of children of her age are shorter than her. In this graph, Priya's length is plotted on the 50th percentile line. The length of 50% of children is on this percentile line. Therefore, Priya's length is the average length among the children of her age. In this graph, Rohan's length is plotted on the 85th percentile line. It means that 15% of children of his age are taller than him. 85% of children of his age are shorter than him. In this graph, Fatima's length is plotted on the 97th percentile. It means that 3% of children of her age are taller than her. 
97% of children of her age are shorter than her. Next, let's discuss the average length of a child from birth to 2 years of age. It is along the 50th percentile line in the length for age growth chart. Average birth length of a girl is 49 centimeters. At one month, the average length of a girl is 54 centimeters. At three months, it is 60 centimeters. At six months, it is 66 centimeters. At one year, it is 74 centimeters. At two years, the average length of a girl is 86.5 centimeters. Average birth length of a boy is 50 centimeters. At one month, the average length of a boy is 55 centimeters. At three months, it is 61.5 centimeters. At six months, it is 67.5 centimeters. At one year, it is 76 centimeters. At two years, the average length of a boy is 88 centimeters. The second percentile growth chart is called the weight for age growth chart. It is discussed in another tutorial in the same series. Growth problems are also discussed in the same tutorial. Please visit our website for more details. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining.